Hey guys, welcome to Tears and Weeks Road Show, where you're showing up, never know what you're going to get. I'm getting a sip, so if you want to get your glass, get your glass. If you can have a sip, have a sip. If it's a sip of water, sip of coffee, whatever it is, just get a sip. I'm listening to this beautiful indie artist. Her name is In There. There name is Iniko and I'm sure y'all have heard of her because I feel sure I've heard of them my apologies yes I'm sure y'all have heard of them because I'm, I'm probably like the last person on earth that hasn't and I'm so excited because they are coming to my area next month and I am considering getting tickets to go and see the show absolutely love their music the vibe is like so what the frequency is like nothing that i have ever heard on in this plane before like seriously out of this world and i am so excited that i believe they had got a deal with columbia or something like that and i don't know if they actually took the deal or not and their sister has a deal a record label and so they're an indie artist under their sister's label and they crowdfund by doing lives on tiktok live concerts called a cosmic lounge and when i say i have been meditating on this these my for like the last two weeks what I don't know if y'all can hear this or if I'm going to get in trouble, get copyrighted friends or something like that. I don't know. But it was worth me taking a risk because today I am feeling it. And I'm like, every time I hear it, I get to channel it. My spirit just really resonates with the sound. Not only the sound, but the words. Because uh, they are a channeled message as well. Yes, they are. And they channel in the spirit and write all of their lyrics in the spirit. Like it's given on to them, the songs. And I thought that that was absolutely amazing. Because you can see them channel as they sing and uh, deliver the song. And it's... It's beautiful. I mean, literally. Have you ever listened to somebody and it doesn't like you never heard them before, but it feels like you know the song, like it resonates with you, so like you can harmonize along, even if you don't know all the words, you can harmonize and just kind of flow. So guys, welcome to Tears and We Throw Show with your girl Lati. We are channeling to Aniko. Yeah, yeah, we are. 
and uh, I've been pretty excited um, about listening to them because uh, they are one of the most interesting uh, and you want this interesting sounds destiny is here on the bottom chakra uh, interesting sounds that I have heard and ever like literally the frequency and the tone of their voice and the what they sing out I mean just literally touches my like my spirit my light it's like it's like almost pulling me up like I could just oh, fall into like it's like a pool of energy and I could just fall into it right so of course one of my gifts I'm Lati I am a channel messenger. I message with the big three, the infinite intelligence of the all, the breath of life that connects and binds us all, fills us, animates us, and our Father, the Lord of all of creation, the Lord of all hosts. I am all of the Claire's. So the Claire audience just really pops out when I'm listening to this being, this entity, ha, huh, this spirit is angel i feel like a complete like the chorus i feel like just they sing onto the most high into creation and channeling with uh various different spirits ancestors definitely um ah uh, it's it's just otherworldly when i say otherworldly i i cannot and there's so many people who have heard about this this beautiful expression of the most high and they uh i mean pretty big on youtube i mean not youtube but, well youtube too but tiktok and all that stuff and just waiting for their body of work and i have like literally consumed everything that i could find that's on a streaming app well on um, amazon music because i don't have spotify and i don't have patreon so and i they make me want to go and get it so that i can get it i can have all all of the music all of the sound because it's just phenomenal so we decided it's friday it's friday night yay we ain't doing too much nothing else that's just what we do we we, we gonna slay some cards yeah and we've been feeling you know messages to to the music and trying to determine how we can do that without getting copyrighted you know claim on here because this is definitely not my music it is a nico they sing covers that they remake songs and then also their own original music so all of you know anything would would definitely go to them so but we have crown chakra yeah baby when i say my head be lit up yes crown chakra I know I am part of source and my life is guided by divine wisdom. Yes, I know. I know because that it be deep to my you want this one, we take it off. And we got gratitude. You want this one too? Yeah, gratitude. And I just pulled all three of these cards. Gratitude will not crown chakra. No, it was throat chakra. And it's right after that. What did I say? Throat chakra, right after that. Throat chakra, root chakra, root. You guys can see that root chakra and gratitude as well i feel heart yes that heart chakra i am grateful for everyone and everything in my life and the lessons that each bring right now i'm grateful for her their sound because their sound is like i said that otherworldly just like put me in a whole mood every time i mean there's certain songs that they sing and it's like my body just animates and the spirit is like want to do <sighs> Whew. takes me back to what i feel like my mission in this life is yes have you ever did that like listen to certain music or certain songs and it just touched you so deeply and the spirit is like Wow, I really connect to that. I really, really, really connect to that. I wonder what it is. Do you have a song that you really connect to? If you do, put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. I'd love to see what it is. Sun Goddess. I do. I feel that. Yeah, Sun Goddess is here. And then we have Abundance after that. So that's a beautiful one. That's a beautiful energy. And I'm just feeling the energy right now. This is a song called Motion that they sing. It's their original song. I don't know if you guys can hear it.
meditation. I said that I've been meditating on this right here because I can just feel it. It resonates with my spirit so deep. It's like, like you hear something and it just wake you up like an alarm clock. Like, this is I acknowledge my inner child and open my heart to the joy she brings forest frolic the maiden you talking about looking like somebody that just want to run and dance and like just be happy and joyous <laughs> that's how I feel my spirit feel like that in the inside it do Gratitude is right back out again, y'all. Gratitude. Release. Do you have something to release? Something to let go of? I release that which does not serve my higher purpose with gratitude and love. Whatever it is, let it go. We got the healer. Healer. I am loving and compassionate and able to bring healer, healing to others. That's how I feel, yes. It's just like that healing melody. Something about the frequency, the vibration of it that's just so uplifting. You could feel it. Yes, it's like breaking down or igniting that solar plexus chakra. Yes, celebration of life. Yeah, and she, they definitely do that using that throat chakra because maybe them pipes right there and the sound and the frequency that comes out when they sing. Woo! I celebrate every day by honoring and respecting all life on Mother Earth. Yes. Anything else in here? You want me to set it right here? Set it right there on top of my uh, Divine Feminine card. Which one should we get first? This one, Persevere. Perseverance isn't a challenge. For some reason, why is perseverance in a challenge? Calling. Somebody has a calling and they're challenged by their calling. But it is destiny. It is destiny. It is your destiny. And look what's behind destiny. Enlightenment. And then we have service. Service. And then we have grief right behind that. So I can see that somebody is challenged with getting into their service. Yeah, we also here have here somebody that is kind of like battling or protecting themselves with the seven and the nine. That is crazy. Battling, defensiveness, we have competition, challenge, the struggle, the challenge, the perseverance. You see that? Look at this. We got perseverance. And can you see down here where it says perseverance? Same thing. So definitely somebody is challenged with persevering, with stepping into their calling. Which one's next? This one? Yeah. Insecurity. Insecurity is here. I feel like, you know, people are, you feel like people are going to judge you. You know, like, if I step into my calling, if I do this thing, I feel somebody that may be uh, clairvoyant as well, you know, have a gift something that you feel is taboo you know something that is again very different about you that uniqueness that oddness doesn't fit in either category they right not on one side or the other side but somewhere else in the middle like a blend of things that's what i feel and we see creator of happiness is here in the mindful messages Go.
feel somebody whose crown chakra is really being opened up. Father say truth. Somebody's crown chakra is being lit up right now. Somebody's going through an awakening, I feel. And that awakening is a part of your destiny. This destined enlightenment. Because you have a service. And maybe the service is to help people who are grieving. But if it's not that, then you definitely are experiencing some grief over awakening awakening over what's being given on to you is definitely causing you some insecurity yes and you're having a challenge a challenge with how to move forward like coming to balance i feel father say this you're at an impasse we talked about impasse earlier today but Again, I feel like that bridging, bridging the gap between uh, the known and the unknown, the expected and the unexpected. Maybe like what people expect from you is going to be different than what they knew. Because you go through an awakening, you awaken to a whole new part of you that may have just had, it may have been hinted at, it may have been... Uh, pieces there but if you never had the opportunity to cultivate and really understand what this thing is it could throw you for a loop I mean seriously throw you for a loop perception what did we say as we said about how people will perceive you or how do you perceive self yeah Yeah, somebody is definitely having an issue with the with their calling. The father is calling someone, calling you. I feel like it's almost like a whisper, whispering to you. Something that you can hear in your heart space, asking you to listen. Asking you to listen. And I still keep hearing three in the morning because that is a time when everything is still, or maybe you're getting awakened. Father say yes. It's like you're being awoken. Like if you find yourself waking up around three, three to four o'clock in the morning, three to five almost, I feel. I know spirits wake me up around that time, and I get messages, I get downloads that time in the morning, and... like the universe wants you to listen, listen close, speaking to you, whispering to you. Come here. 
It almost feel like the niggling card in the star seed that goes that gateway activation of star seed. Light worker. Light worker. Light worker card deck. So I feel like you are a light worker. You are a healing agent. And I've been feeling somebody that uh, has a healing type of spirit. Yeah. Third eye. Can you guys see that? Third eye. I am receptive to my intuition. My thoughts are clear and I trust my inner voice. My mind and my heart are open to new experiences. Yeah, somebody's being awakened, but you have an issue with the new experiences, the perception of it. How am I going to be perceived? And it's causing you a problem. That's the impasse. How am I going to be perceived in this new thing? Again, what is my mission? I feel somebody is not seeing or th what they're was being. Is that right, Father? I feel like what Father said, they're calling. That this is your calling. You are called to come forth to do a service, a work. It's a work that is associated with your destiny. And that work, I feel, is highly important. Yeah. It's for somebody that's really, really got a gift. Not this play, 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 for play stuff. I'm talking about a for real, show enough, show enough gift, a show enough connection from the creator of all, the creator of happiness, but I feel like the creator himself, I feel, yes, mission, there's a mission, somebody has a mission, and they are, I believe, afraid of that mission, their perception is an issue, how do you see this mission? And there's some insecurity here. Somebody is here to do the work. The healer. I said somebody is here to do a work to heal. But it's in reverse. Father, turn the card upside down. It's almost like you're denying it. It's like you're denying the call. I am loving, compassionate, and able to bring healing to others. But I feel like you are denying it. Like you are in denial about what that is. Is there anything else in here? Yeah. 
Somebody pulling your strings. Almost like a puppeteer. Wondering if it's real, I feel. Is this real? That's how I feel, like somebody's questioning, is it real? third eye chakra somebody see it snatched it right out of my hand you've been enlightened to see what your destiny is and I think it scares the crap out of you yeah and you are trying to figure out how you're gonna go forward complete I hear complete this mission what is my mission it's been shown to you I believe you've seen it this this Focus on the here and now. Focus on the here and now. That's a part of the struggle. To focus here and now like I'm different than the past. And I don't quite understand where I'm going. But how do I get through it? How do I deal with this perception? And we do that by focusing on the here and now. Maybe you are unable to focus on the here and now because of the residual feelings from the past. I feel something from the past. This, anything else? Slow down and celebrate yourself, we have. Is this it? So maybe you're moving too fast. That's a part of the insecurity. Maybe things are taking off. Yes. I feel, because when you can get cracked open, it could just like go, like boom, something busts you open. And it could be a challenge to try to slow things down because you could be getting so many downloads, so many uh, experiences, so many experiences that it's hard for you to even embrace what's happening to you. I feel like somebody is even having a hard time embracing what's going on, that perception insecure over the perception and everything is moving too fast uh, you know and your ability to keep up to persevere is like is a challenge like how do I handle all of this I'm getting so much coming in so much so much so much so many downloads so much is coming in coming in coming in coming in it's like wearing you out and I feel like almost like tired like weariness I hear sleep I hear rest and it definitely can impact your sleep schedule your rest schedule everything because you have all of this energy and it's like 
feeling chaos and confusion. Like, what am I supposed to do with all of this? What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to serve it? Yes, take yourself out. Is there anything else in here? What would happen if you didn't try to control everything? If you could just focus on the here and now and release control and trust. Trust that the spirit has you well in hand. Am I doing more of the things that keep me alive or the things that make me feel alive? There's something that's resonating with you. It's wakening you up. There's an awakening. And you can feel the vibration. Do you want this? Energy. Put it. What does happiness mean? What does happiness mean? I feel like it's challenging. No? The calling, though, to what is the calling and your happiness are intertwined together. And I feel like the calling and moving in that direction is, I don't, I hear risk. Like you feel like it's going to risk your happiness. Yes. But what if you didn't try to control it? What would happen if you didn't try and control it? What kind of routines or habits live in your experience? And I'm stopping at experience because that's what I feel. Not, not the whole rest of the sentence, but what is limiting your experience? There's something limiting your experience, and it's your perception. Your perception of what this mission is. What has been revealed onto you, beloved? Your mission has been revealed onto you. And you definitely understand. You have the perception. You know. You have the awareness. It's been downloaded. Your crown is open. But what kind of routines are limiting that experience? What's ruining? What's limiting? Are you doing things that keep you alive? I feel root chakra. Uh, meditation. Father said, you need more meditation. Meditation, I hear, calming. Calming the body. Coming into alignment. That way you will be able to release some of these insecurities, I feel. We have healer. I feel like that is your mission, to be a healer. It'll help you be able to slow down. The meditation will help you be able to slow down. And even discern what is...
extraterrestrial, supernatural, and Yeah, somebody definitely has an otherworldly, like, connection. A connection to the supernatural, to the spirit world, I feel. What we consider supernatural or spirit world, highly spiritual, I just got a whole breeze. Yeah, it's like, uh, see, Spiritual. I feel like you are courted to the spirit world. Almost like an entity. So when we come back and we go through the forgetting process, right? We have to remember. We have to be enlightened. We have to be enlightened, right? We have to have that crown chakra opened up, right? And have our connection. But I feel like your connection is so strong. Like... The ability to operate in the spirit and do some amazing things, I think, is there. But it's against what you feel happiness is. Happiness is. It's almost like you feel like you have to sacrifice your happiness in order to fulfill this service or to try and control it in some sort of way. I feel control and your happiness like the opposite ends of it like you have to control it in order to stay happy or to maintain your happiness maintain some equilibrium some balance so you continue to just do the things like go about the mundane almost denying your service which is to heal to help people I hear medical. Yes, I do. I hear medical. Maybe they are in a medical profession. So somebody who works with medicine. Are they like a guide for those who are transitioning to help them cross, to lead them, to guide them through? Yeah. I don't know if you're somebody that works with... Extraterrestrial. 
High Priestess. I am one with my soul and my soul is a legacy of love. Somebody gets a High Priestess. When I say strong, I feel somebody who is strong. of protection. I am safe and divinely protected. I am love, held in love at all times. You don't believe that. You think that you have to control this because it will literally I hear destroy. Like it will destroy your life. What you know. What you have come to recognize as happiness. You being a high priestess stepping into this service and doing the work that you're supposed to do as a healer. A healer, I hear of humanity. Somebody that is very, very strong, a healer of humanity. I feel enlightenment. Destiny. Like somebody is rejecting their destiny. Yeah, third eye chakra, high priestess, high priestess, third eye chakra. Somebody is rejecting their calling. They are trying to control it. Is there anything else, Father? Almost like they're trying to run away from it. Somebody is trying to move away from it. They're trying to control it. They're trying to move away from their calling. Again, that's why I said I felt like somebody was rejecting the call. Like, why, you know, what is this? Why me? Why me? You know, why me? This is my mission? This is what I'm supposed to do? This is what I'm supposed to do. Do it for you, I feel. That's a challenge to do this. And I don't even just feel for you, but to do it in general, to do this would challenge your happiness. Again, happiness, perseverance, what does that mean? To do this for you, to be able to step into your calling, to know that you are a high priestess and to move forward in that, that you are a spiritual healer. To get over that insecurity. It jeopardizes what you've come to know as happiness. That's what you're struggling with. That ability to persevere is challenging you. Something. You have a strong will and you know what you know. But to know this, to let go of that control, ooh, that's a whole nother level. But to have the courage to do it. Courage, persistence, the strength. And I feel like you're attempting to, again, perseverance is here. Again, perseverance. You will need a lot of perseverance because you will face a lot of battles, a lot of people coming against you with their opinions. This is this and that is that. And no, it couldn't be this. And maybe it challenges everything that you know. I hear like your personal history, like it challenges your thought of your point of view, your world view. 
again, I felt like somebody was going through something that they themselves considered to be taboo. Like, this can't be real. I need a sip. I see Queen of Swords here, somebody blocking it out. Very analytical, guarded, very analytical, very like thinking, strategic. Again, if you are in a medical facility, Father said medicine. Maybe you're a nurse. Nursing, nursing. Healing sick, now. So somebody is in nursing, somebody that heals the sick. Yeah, that is a part of the, your magic. Do you want another card out of here? This, this one, this one. Take a chance. And I don't see on them, but you don't want to take a chance and step out on you, to take a chance on you and step out, to step into it. It's something in your routine, like to come out of your routine, to come out of what you normally do, what you know, what, ha what you've become accustomed to, I feel. Your customs, your normal customs, to come away from that. Now, this message may resonate for only a select few. This one. How is that for a happily ever after? Somebody is afraid that coming out and doing the work, stepping into their mission, this mission right here is going to cause everything to fall, but it's actually going to cause everything to blossom. I think it's going to fill in the blanks. Yeah, it is. It's going to answer a lot of questions for you, I believe, beloved. It will. And it will create a lot of happiness. Again, creative of happiness. We hear, we saw that. How is that for a happily ever after? How is that for a happily ever after? The phoenix rising up from the ashes, I feel. The mission is going to break everything that you thought you knew and bring you into something completely different, completely new. And your perception of that is what has you afraid at an impasse, almost not wanting to move forward. Like I said, a denial of your gift. You want to run away from it. You want to put it away. You want to bury it. I feel like this can't be real. It can't be right. But Father say it is. You are called. You are called. And you are not alone. You're not. There's plenty of other light workers here. You are not in a priestess or priesthood by yourself. You're not. There are others. But the work that you come to do as a healer, beloved, is, is real. It is. You are a high priestess. You came to answer a calling. It is a power of your destiny. And to step into that enlightenment, to be enlightened, is your challenge to get into this service. Because you are here to help people who are grieving or to release your own grief is going to help you get into your magic, into this happily ever after, to help people rise, I feel. You are going to rise. Is there another card in here? Turn this over No. Like, helping with the grief is a part of your magic. That is the magic that you will do to help people with their grief. And Father said transition. Maybe you are somebody that helps people move through those final phases. Or move the plane through its final. Oh. Hmm. 
Yeah. You're someone who will help bring comfort to the plane as we transition through these final phases of this cycle. Yeah. And that is heavy. Especially if you've been awakened and enlightened to that, I can see why, you know, you feel like it could challenge your happiness, your livelihood. It feels taboo, something that you shy away from, something that you don't really want to get into. But you are a high priestess, and I feel like it's beating. Like, the frequency is calling you. Almost to the point where, like I said, you're at that impasse, and maybe it's causing you grief. It could be because you want to run away from it. You want to deny it. Almost, I hear the word denounce. Like denounce this. Like take this off of me. Like why me, Father? Why me, I feel. But to, if you could, if you could just, if you could do this, try not to control it. If you could release control. Father say meditate. Meditate. Free yourself. Free yourself. And meditate. Through meditation, you can free yourself. And figure out, okay, what am I supposed to do with these downloads that I'm getting? How am I supposed to serve, I feel? How do I come together with this whole thing? Come together and balance this whole thing. How do I do that? and get some gratitude for you have come to answer a call. And to be awakened to that call can be heavy. Yes. But what would happen, beloved, if you didn't try to change it, if you didn't try to control it? Father say, this is what's gonna happen. You will rise. You will rise. And how is that for a happily ever after? Creation of happiness. I feel true happiness. Deep down, so. What kinds of situations do I avoid? Meditation, sitting in the spirit. I feel like somebody is constantly being tapped. Like you can hear it all the time, like that faint whisper. Again, I feel three in the morning being woke up in the wee hours of the morning. What kind of situations do I avoid? What does this evasion say about my previous experiences or beliefs? Again, I said somebody was having an issue with their calling accepting their call because it feels taboo. It's against what you may have known, what you may have been brought to believe, and what you have been brought to perceive. What is your perception? What is your perception? And how does this calling, this mission that you have been put on, fit in with that? Are you at an impasse based on what you think you know and what you have now been shown? Somebody is a powerful priestess, highly spiritual, spiritually connected, I feel, touched by the spirit, possibly by the Father himself. And that is heavy for the Father to come and touch you. That which called all things to say, I've sent you to do a work. You have a calling and you can't run away from it. You will be like Jonah. You will be like Jonah. 
get swallowed up by that big ass fish and before you knew it it'd be to swam you right over to where you supposed to be at and father be like well how was that for a happily ever happened all of this running and evasion that you're trying to do is really going to end you up exactly where you're supposed to be so you can do exactly what you're supposed to do because you're here to answer a call to serve you are of service, and you shall serve. This is what I got for y'all. You want something else? No. Nope. Father said, keep pointing to this crown. 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 Is it fine? Yeah, it's beating in your heart. High places. Can you get to unity? Come to wholeness. Come to wholeness. Come to balance. Wholeness. Balance. Releasing this. Releasing the insecurity. Letting that fall away. Because we talk about spiritual dragons. And we are going through a transition to change. And all workers are being called. And you're one of them. Jonah. Can run and run and run. But eventually the circumstances catch you up, pick you up, and drop you exactly where you're supposed to be. anything else meditate pray the father would not give you anything that you cannot handle do all things through the father as possible and the support and love and comfort and answers that you need you can get them they're within the father will pull them right out Boom. Drop it right here. Because you're a priestess. It's already baked in. You just may not remember. And the awakening is a trip. It is. It really, really is. To the next now. This is your girl, La T. From Tears and Wheat to Rose Show. Where you show sure enough never know what you're going to get. Because I was feeling it. Ooh. Beloved. It's not fun. It's not. People always look at the gift and they look at the calling and think, oh, that's just a, you know, oh, I would love that. Huh. You talk about test everything that you thought you knew, make you come away from some things, things that you can no longer do, and things that you must do because you can't rest until you do. Yeah. Love you. Just like I love me. Because I love the source that sent us. Sent you. Sent me. Until the next now, we're going to call this an I shame.